Preparing Ourselves to Connect with Clients by Dr. Melissa J. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa J. I use she, her pronouns. I'm a registered psychologist in Canmore, Alberta, and I'm an Indigenous woman and so grateful to be here on your journey with you. What we're going to be talking about in this video is around preparing to connect with your clients. And I'm going to talk about this in two different ways. First, how do we prepare ourselves to be in a place where we are able to be present so that we can connect with others? And how do we prepare our physical space before our client arrives? So starting more globally, really, I, I'm so curious about our, how we engage in a practice of self-care, self-love, and self-compassion so that we can keep our empathy nice and full so that we can cultivate a deep sense of presence within ourselves so that when we connect with another, that we are fully present and available for them. So let's operationalize self-care. For me, you know, self-care is this buzzword that will be tossed around and it's often associated with having baths and going to the spa. And, and really I see it as an ethical obligation as a helping professional. When we are engaging in self-care, it means that we are caring for ourselves through a practice of self-love, self-compassion, and inviting ourselves to find moments of deep rest and deep sense of regulation and presence. As we continue to cultivate those practices that allow us to connect with ourselves, that allow us to integrate who we are in our minds, our bodies, our spirits, and our hearts, we then are able to stay really present with ourselves. And when we're able to stay present with ourselves, we're better able to stay present with others. So be curious about the ways in which you already practice self-care. What are the ways you really care for yourself? And rather than seeing it as something specific like going to the spa, notice the nuances. How do you talk to yourself? lovingly, kindly, compassionately? How do you engage with rest? How do you uplift yourself? How do you refuel yourself at the end of a long week? What are the ways in which you connect with your heart, your mind, your body, and your spirit? Really be curious about that. So now we wanna talk about how we prepare our space so that we can truly connect with our clients. How is it that you're taking good care of yourself so that you can take good care of your clients? So for me, some tangible ways, I really need to have a comfortable seat where I can feel my back connecting with the surface behind me, below me. It's important for me to have a big glass of water and also a warm cup of tea cute mugs are a bonus. So allowing yourself to fully ground into the space is what's so important. So attending to all five senses can really be a helpful way to think about that. So yeah, what do you, what would support you in feeling grounded? What would you need to see? So for me, it's like having a clean space, having some cute things around. I, I tend to be a bit of an owl lady. So even having a cute mug is important to me. How about what can you hear? So for me, making sure that the space is confidential. I often will have a sound machine outside of my office. With regards to taste, gotta love tea and water and yeah, just being mindful about how you care for yourself in session. And then what, do you, what can you feel? What are you touching? So for me, it's having support behind my back and below my seat so that I can really press into my seat and feel my body connecting to the support below me and behind me. Being mindful about scent is important. A lot of people have sensitivity to scent. So if you're using essential oil, perhaps in a diffuser, being mindful about if that would fit for a client or not. So I invite you to be really gentle with yourself. Notice what you need and be really curious about how you might adapt your self-care practice throughout this course.